everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a gaming video. Okay, thank you, Misha. I love you too. Um, today we are doing a gaming video, and I know I haven't done one of these in a really long time, and there's a reason why I'm making this one today. Um, it's, you know, for fun, Sims purposes, and also for commentary purposes, because there's a lot of things that I want to talk about regarding, like, you know, recent internet drama, the Daniel Cohn situation, and then you know, just other little topics that I wanted to touch on, and I don't want to make three 15-minute videos for each one because I'm lazy, and, like, nobody wants to, like, sit and, like, listen to me ramble for 15 minutes three times in one day, and I figured a gaming video was the perfect way to get my commentary in, so what we're going to be doing today is building a strip club, um, so that's fun. We are in DeSol Valley, and the name of this place is going to be called the Rabbit Lounge. We're going to bulldoze this lot first because this is a lounge that I built a while ago and I never finished it. So, um, yeah, nobody ever really goes there. So we're going to build a strip club instead. Kind of, not like a nice strip club, like Flint, Michigan strip club, you know? So it's like one floor, one or two floors, and it just looks like booty. So that's, that's how we're going to do this. Okay, so let's start out by at least building foundation here now strip clubs in flint usually like strip clubs in other cities like chicago or like you know maybe some of the ones in canada are nice but like we're doing flint style so like they only have one like one or two floors and there's no foundation so you just like walk in there's no like <laughs> steps to get in or anything it's just on the ground so we're gonna do it that way and then we're gonna put one more floor up top for the private room um, I'm gonna put it over here just so that the, like, shape of the building makes sense, because if you just put two of these giant rooms on top of each other, it's not gonna make a lot of sense. Okay. So there we go. Let's start out with the doors. Um, so, I'm gonna talk about several things here. Uh, let's start out by talking about the Daniel Cohn situation. I know, you know, I have said many times in the past, I'm gonna make a video about this, I'm gonna make a video about the Daniel Cohn situation just in general, and this was before all the crazy abortion stuff came out. I'm gonna be saying the name of what she had done because I don't get monetized on YouTube, I don't make money off of YouTube in any way, I just, um, you know, I do what I do, and I do this for fun. Let's turn on a, the fucking cheat box real quick. Uh, is this how you do it? How do you do this? There we go. Uh, Okay, there we go. So, with that situation, you know, I don't make money off of YouTube. I only do YouTube for fun. So, by me saying certain words like abortion and abuse and things like that, like, I won't get demonetized. Like, at worst, my video is going to get taken down solely because I, you know, sometimes have penises pop up in my side things because, uh... I don't know if you are aware, but I have the Wicked Whims mod. I think everybody does, so it's it's whatever, you know. Should we make the flooring pink? Let's make the flooring pink. This is called the Rabbit Lounge. That's what this place is going to be called. And it has, like, poppy pink vibes. And I have the perfect wall for that. Fuck yeah, Victoria's Secret wallpaper up in here. Um, so that's, that's the vibes we're going for. For the private room upstairs, we're going to, um, you know, go for something different. Oh, that's a totally different screen recording. Let's just hope that that doesn't ruin the video. Um... There we go. Alright. Now, with the Daniel Cohn situation, there's a lot of things that people have not addressed when it comes to that situation that need to be addressed. So we're going to address them. Um, to start with, a lot of people, there's an account on Instagram, there's two accounts on Instagram that I've seen that are not bashing her exactly for what she's done, but are defending the boy, which is fucking stupid. Ethan Fair is a fucking loser. Like, he would not be where he is now without Danielle. So I don't know what people are thinking. Like, thinking that, like, oh, like, sh Danielle is in the wrong, not Ethan. No. And saying that, oh, she was sexual to begin with. Like, he didn't pressure her. Let me say that even if it's somebody that I totally hate, whether it's a boy or a girl or somebody that hasn't decided yet, I don't care what you are. If you feel like you were pressured into sex or you did not consent, I will always side with the person that is making the accusation until further notice. Like, I don't care. I don't care who you, I don't care who you are. I don't care, like, who your 
manipulator was like if the manipulator was somebody i was related to like a cousin or something like if you said hey your cousin manipulated me into having sex i would be pretty damn pissed and i would side with you until i was proven otherwise so a lot of people don't think about that and i think that's something that really just needs to be talked about like especially with girls girls danielle is a young girl she is not a woman she is a girl like, they, they don't get taken nearly as seriously as they should with stuff like this. And people like to say, oh, she was sexual to begin with. That might be true, but that was all at the hands of her mother. And, you know, if somebody's going to manipulate you into doing things like that, like doing sexual things, they don't have to be violent about it. They don't have to physically force you. They can be very charming about it, in a sense. And that's something that people, like, didn't address. It happened to me at 15, you know, I was manipulated into it. The guy did not force me, but I was manipulated. And, hang on, I gotta find the stripper poles. There we go, Beach. Okay, inactive. Yes, Beach. So, we're gonna put the stripper poles over here. I love the lights with these. So, we're gonna, we're gonna put them over here. Yeah, how, like, how many different colors should we have? Like, what, what kind of formation should I do with this? That's my question. Let's have a hot pink one. Like, should I have, like, a quad formation? here will that work should i put a fifth one let's leave it like that until further notice okay so a boy doesn't have to be violent with you to manipulate you into sex phrases like oh come on baby like it'll show me that you really love me if you do this or like it'll like you want to be a grown-up right grown-ups do this like that's manipulation either way you don't she was manipulated. I 100% believe that she was manipulated because we all know that Ethan Fair is a fucking loser that would be nowhere without her. And he can, you know, come at me for saying that. Okay, you're millions of Instagram followers for you standing there with your shirt off and dancing around. Like, okay, sorry, that's not a talent. I'm sorry, I played music for, like, several years. I toured the country with the orchestra that I played with. I've done acting, like... You doing a bang energy ad and dancing around on Instagram with your shirt off for however many people is not a talent. I'm sorry. Um, you having followers means fucking nothing. So I'm saying that I'm siding with Danielle on this one. As much as I don't necessarily like her, I am siding with her on this one. She was manipulated and it is extremely sad. And I am 100% pro-choice. I always have been. I always will be. Um, it is absolutely the woman's choice whether or not she wants to have that child, and especially, like, she shouldn't have had to make that choice at 13. She should not have had to make that choice. That is extremely sad. And people are saying that, oh, it's, uh, people are calling the police on her because she had an abortion. Maybe, that might be true, but the main reason why people are now calling the police is because the mother allowed it. Um, she likely got pregnant when she was with Ethan in Hawaii. And a lot of people don't, like, address that. Ethan's birthday is in December, right? She got pregnant and had her abortion in January. Like, granted, late January, but still in January. So Ethan had turned 16 the month before. I'm not exactly sure when she went to Hawaii with him, but he was 15 or 16 at the time. The legal age in Hawaii is 16, I think. So if Ethan was 16 at the time and she was 13, it's illegal to have sex with anybody if you're not 16, in Hawaii, so that's illegal. Ethan Fair, if you were 16 and you had sex with her when you guys were in Hawaii, that is statutory rape. And fuck you for that. You're a piece of shit for that. Moving on. So, um, okay, they have, they have hookah things in this game now, guys. Isn't that dope? Like, I love the idea. I love the idea. I love the fucking hookah sticks. I love that. So we're gonna set up a nice little hookah station over here, maybe some tables. Um... Should I set up this hookah station over here? Let's put it in the private dance room. Let's do that. Here is Here comes the hookah. There we go, Beach. So, this mother of hers, people are saying, oh, don't, they shouldn't have put that out to the public. Virginia shouldn't have leaked the audio. And while I agree, I think that it's, you know, important that this audio got leaked because people are really taking into consideration the problem with Danielle and what her mother is making her do. Now, to be fair, California is one of the states where you allowed, where you are allowed to get an abortion without parental consent. But that said, you know, her mother said, I allowed you to have an abortion and then shamed her for it, which is a really fucking shitty thing to do. Don't do that if you're a parent. First of all, her mother is like 36 years old and looks like she got hit by a fucking bus. So I don't know who you are to talk about what's right and what's wrong when you're doing this to your daughter. 
Um, oh, these tables are not in a good formation. Let's put that right there. I might, like, try to make, like, a stage for the strippers. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But either way... Uh, the mother, when Danielle had her abortion, we all know that the mother likes to throw little innuendos in places where they do not need to be put to get Danielle more views. If you guys noticed when the conspiracy theories about her having an abortion were going around, she was constantly on live stream. She got that tattoo, which is gone, by the way. In one of her recent Instagram posts, she's, like, on the beach in, like, a red thong bikini. The abortion tattoo that's on her side is gone. So she either got it removed or it was fake. I don't, I don't know, but it, it, regardless, so th this, like, shitty mother of hers probably made her give the innuendos about, like, oh, I'm having a medical procedure done, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it for several years because it clearly really bothers me, but, like, yeah, I'm having a medical procedure done, get, get everyone talking, Danielle, get everyone talking, like, that was her mother, that was her mother's doing, so everybody was already speculating that she, she, that she had had this procedure because her fucking mother made her fucking talk about it on that live stream, now, how do I upsize this rug, there we go, so, yeah, that's also something that people didn't address, is the little fucking innuendos that her mother was having her give on live streams that alluded to the fact that she had had an abortion, which is a really shitty thing to do. It's already really tough and sad for Danielle to have to go through that. Okay, where are all the wall speakers in here? I know there's, like, specific ones to this. Uh, is there a venue wall speaker? There we go. So, is there a hip-hop retro speaker in here? There we go. So... It's the fucking mother's fault, and as Virginia stated, these little critters that are behind screens are detectives, so they- We- we figured it out. You know, I'm not one of these, like, little behind-the-screen critters. I mean, I am, but not for that- not for the Daniel Cohen situation. I'm just a commentator in that sense, but it's really sad that her mother made her do that, and I really hope that CPS fucking tightens up and takes this girl away from her mother, or that this girl goes to live with her dad, because it's extremely sad what she's going through, and- my love and support goes out to Danielle. I hope Ethan gets what he deserves. I hope your mother gets what she deserves because nobody, let alone at 13, should have to go through having to make that choice and then having it blasted everywhere because your family wants that. Like, and like, no girl should ever have to go through a boy leaving them for selfish reasons just because like, oh, I don't want a baby. You need to abort it and I'm going to leave you. That that's not okay. That shouldn't be happening. It happens, but it shouldn't be happening. And my stance you know, with the abortion law things. If a man wants abortion to be illegal, like, if you want abortion to be illegal, then make it illegal for a man to leave a pregnant woman. Like, not, not like, oh, no, no, child support. Like, not, no, that's not what I meant. Like, make the man stay in the woman's life and take care of the baby, if that's the case. If you want to make abortion illegal, if a woman can't, like, back out of a pregnancy, then neither can a man. Like, fuck that shit. Like, it takes two to make a baby. Be a responsible, be a fucking man, step up, and help the fucking woman if she decides to take to keep the baby or if she decides to abort the baby like take care of the fucking woman okay we all know it was ethan fair all right as much as i don't like mikey Tio, do i think he would do some shitty stuff like that no all right moving on um how are you guys doing i got my first professional tattoo recently and it was so dope i love it so much you can go on my instagram and check it out um, my Instagram is shark underscore bait seven eight. I am on private right now, but if you can like DM me, you can still click the little three dots at the top and like go send message and like let me know that you came from my YouTube video. Um, I'm going private right now just because of internet drama with Barbie doll Lauren, which I will be addressing in a second. But um, eh, bring that down. There we go. Yeah, I'll be addressing that in a second. But how do you guys feel about tattoos? Do you guys have any tattoos? Like, let me know. Like, that's cool if you do, cool if you don't, but if you're unsure about getting a tattoo, like, you don't know if it's gonna hurt, you don't know if you're, like, gonna like it or whatever, honestly, just go for it, like, I was so scared, all of my tattoos, I have quite a few, um, but they're all small, and they were all done prison style, so, like, you know, with a fucking stick and poke needle, whatever, um, don't do that, like, do as I say, not as I do, but, you know, just always be safe, but, you know, all my tattoos were done prison style, you know, kind of, yeah, you know, stick and poke, 
And then I went to get my first professional tattoo and I was so scared and it was not bad at all. It's a giant tattoo. It's a rabbit's head and it says RIP Bun. It's on my bicep. And it's for my little bunny that passed away right after Easter. She was like nine years old and she was my world. So, um, yeah, I got a little uh, tattoo for her. And you know, yeah, I was, I was very glad that I was able to get this tattoo, and it means a lot to me, so, if you're unsure about getting that tattoo, get that tattoo, get that tattoo, okay, moving on, so the Barbie doll Lauren situation, I was gonna make a whole separate video about this, and then I decided not to, like I said, because no one wants to hear me ramble for that long, um, so, she's posted a lot on her private accounts and about stuff like, oh, these people are filing false police reports against me. First of all, I did file a few police reports. I never filed a report with the police. I filed a report with CPS. I've never spoken directly to the police. Um, hang on. Let me find that. Stripping pole! Um, I never filed a report directly with the police. I've always called CPS. Um, she has now gone back on her story. I've talked before about, oh, she's illegally living alone in Florida. She has not been emancipated. She got 5150 would in 2017, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically where somebody calls the police on you because they think, like, you're in danger of hurting yourself. So, somebody calls the police on you, the police show up at your house, and they, like, evaluate why, you know, it's like, hey, like, this is why this person called you in. We don't, we think that you're a danger to yourself, so we're going to take you to a mental hospital and hold you there for 72 hours. They basically, like, force you out of your house to go to a psych hospital if they think you're in danger to yourself, like you're going to hurt yourself. That's, that's what a 5150 is. And this girl got 5150 back in 2017. Uh, she committed fraud by taking, uh, donations for a lawyer. Um, she never pressed charges, but she took donations for a lawyer because apparently it was illegal because they were there under false pretenses even though they were not but uh and then she used those donations she never pressed charges and she bought an imac so that's fraud um she was you know i'm gonna do a whole like separate thing on that but she basically i followed a few police reports because she was living alone and that's illegal in florida she has now gone back on her story and said that oh i'm not living alone even though on her twitter it's there is her twitter is deleted by the way as soon as like cps showed up at her house the first time she deleted her twitter um but her twitter is now gone but on her twitter uh, i have screenshots of her saying oh i'm living 100 percent alone i'm so happy it's my dad's friend's house blah 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 she's now saying that she doesn't live alone but she said that i was filing false police reports and that like she messaged my boyfriend and threatened him um she was saying uh, on her private account, they filed more false police reports against me because I messaged her boyfriend, hi. No, you didn't. You messaged my boyfriend. You said, oh, uh, you and your boyfriend, you and your, fuck, <laughs> my boyfriend does not have a boyfriend. He'd have some explaining to do. Um, you and your little girlfriend better stop harassing me. The FBI are tracking her as we speak. Like, that's a threat. You can't do that. You can't, like, give a threat under false pretenses like that. No false police report was ever filed. I provided them with proof of you selling nudes when you were 14. I showed them the Who Want Who Want account. I, you know, talked to them about your living situation and how suspicious it was that your uncle was on all your phone bills and bank statements. And, you know, they were, they investigated, and I guess they were, they either investigated or they didn't. But either way, somebody filed a report and the police showed up and they didn't do anything. So, she posted pictures of my face, first of all, without my permission, which is illegal. So I filed a report about that and those pictures were uh, taken down. But, um, so the pictures of my face aren't up there anymore. But she keeps saying that, oh, I'm jealous, like, oh, she's so jealous, because I'm good looking. Mm -mm -mm kind of, but, um, yeah, I'm not jealous of somebody that has to lie about their life online to seem cool and who has to exploit themselves in order to make money. If you have to do that, like, sex work, that's fine. I've done it before. Like, I understand, but if you're 16 and you're doing that shit, there is no way in hell I'm jealous of you. Like, why would anybody be jealous of that? Your entire page is pedo bait, and your entire YouTube channel was making adult jokes on a children's game called Booby Star Planet. Her YouTube is Princess Games, by the way, because she's too afraid to give it out. Um, so, yeah, that's fucking great. Uh, no false police report was filed. If she says anything on her Instagram about that, 
Um, it's not true. No false police report was ever filed by me or by anybody else that's involved with me trying to get her safe. No false police report was ever filed or I would have been arrested by now. So, yeah, no false police report was ever filed. Um, if you really want to, like, keep up with all of this, I don't know if any of you guys really are in on it or not, but she... Okay, I need a microphone and a musical instrument in here. Um, there is an account on Instagram called Exposing... Uh, what's the fuck? Exposing Barbie Doll Lauren or Barbie Doll Lauren. I think it's Barbie Doll Lauren dot exposing. I don't know. I'll, like, put in, like, text on the screen of what it actually is. But, um, I don't know the person who runs it, but it just, like, shows her blatant racism and shit in the past. Because her entire account is pedobaid. Like, that's literally all it is. I don't know why anybody would look up to that. If she had kept with her gaming videos and made a good, like, like, a children-friendly channel she would have been successful but she or her family i guess made her turn to sex work at 16 and just pedo bait to get followers and that's really sad um moving on so that's why my instagram is private right now because she posted pictures of my face and she keeps telling people to she knows my main account but i have her blocked um she keeps telling people to like go to my account like this is her account. She never basically said, she never like blatantly said, oh, go hate on this person, but she did give out my account without my permission in a post. That's now gone, but she did give out my account, and that's why I'm private right now, because I don't want any of her stands telling me to kill myself on my photos, because like, we don't fuck with that here. Okay, so we're gonna put the walls up, and we're going to get this place a sign. I'm gonna plug in my laptop, and then maybe come back to this. We're back. Um, I added the last minute details, and this is basically what the thing is looking like. It's got some neon signs. I finally learned how to upsize things in The Sims, so that makes me very happy. Let's start with the tour. I put the stairs there because there wasn't really a good spot anywhere else to put them. So if anyone wants to go in the private, private room, they're going to have to go up the stairs and walk on the roof for a second. So here we go. Let's start from the top and go down. Uh, we have this lovely private, private room in case anyone wants to pay for some extra time with the strippers. Um, we have, you know, toilet sink, because that was a requirement. This is like the main room. We got a full bar. We got some dining tables. We got a lounge area. We have the stripper poles, of course. And then we have the private dance room. Let's put the walls down halfway up. I only put these there because they had to be there. We got the hookah machine, which is called a bubble blower, but we all know it's hookah. We got the chairs for the private dances. We got another love seat over here. I'm using these stripper pole lights because they have amazing bright colors and I figured it was fitting. So that's why we have those. People can still be stripping in here or they can be stripping in here or they can be stripping upstairs. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it looks like. We got some neon signs up in here and from far away, that's what it's gonna look like. So that's fun. I might put some cars out here. But, um, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. Uh, what have you guys been up to in quarantine recently? I, I can't believe I'd ever asked you that. Uh, I had to update my computer. Let me tell you, I was so pissed. I had to update my computer. And in order for it to update, because I was having all kinds of problems with my internet connections and stuff like that, and I figured if I updated my computer, it would fix it. But it needed 15 gigabytes of storage space, and I did not have that, so I had to delete... Life is Strange Before the Storm. I still have it. Like, I still own it. I would just have to download it to my computer again, and I can't, like, readily play it right now, which sucks. But thankfully, I already purchased it, so I can just re-download it at any time and just start over. But, yeah, that's kind of sucky. I've been watching a lot of TV, a lot of Ink Masters. I don't know why I'm being that bitch that, like, you know, I watched... I've been watching Ink Masters since I was, like, 13, but I just started watching it again because I found out that you can watch it on Daily Motion, so... Everything is just, like, flipped. I found out that one of the f uh, fucking, um... What is this stuff? Gardening tools? Ugh. No. I found out that one of the artists from that show, I realized this after I scheduled my tattoo appointment, and I was so pissed, because I found out the day after that one of the artists from that show lives in my city. He lives ten minutes away from me. So, 
for my next tattoo, once I get the money, Kyle Dunbar, hit me up. I'll put my Instagram in the description. Hit me up, sir, please. I would love to get tattooed by you. I admire your work a lot. You did not deserve to get treated like dirt. But I love your work. Hit me up. My Instagram is in the description. What do you guys think about... Okay. Another thing that needs to be talked about, Carmen King, obviously, Carmen King inspired this video, by the way, I can't believe I never said that, but shout out to you, Carmen King, you're a great channel, go subscribe to her channel, she does some stuff. What do you guys think about nifty knitting? Like, we've asked for so much out of The Sims, like, we've asked for bromance, we've asked for more LGBT representation, we've asked for periods, more, like, realistic shit, and they're like, okay, here's nifty knitting. Like, what do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about nifty knitting? Let me know in the comments. So this is our strip club. It's called the Rabbit's Lounge. If you want me to add anything to it, put it in the comments and I'll make a second video adding things to it that you guys wanted me to add. I love you guys so much. I hope you liked the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, have a good day or night or whatever. Bye!